Shantavia from Obedience Podcast, and today I am here to present to you guys what intentionally Shay is. All right, so I'm totally off the cup, cause what is it? Well, I'm totally off the dome. That's what I'll say with this script right here. Um, I will say the enemy has been extremely against me these past couple of days as I geared up to actually film this. Um, right now, it's. January 7th and I was scheduled to film this last week like at the beginning of the year or the beginning of the week I should say and there's just been so many things happening within the first week of 2021 and the enemy has just been attacking me like to the point where he's telling me hey girl you can't do this you don't have enough strength for it to the point where I just was like I am not even gonna do intentionally Shay anymore I'm just gonna stick to the podcast episodes because this is too much this is way too much um, and I guess he's just really been riding me so hard because Holy Spirit did lay this on my heart to use my life as an example to influence others to grow closer to Christ and so these types of videos and me actually opening up myself to for you guys to get further into my life um, it's really scaring the enemy because he knows that this might attract someone that he had and they're gonna come to Jesus instead of him. So I guess since I am doing something that is really gonna move the kingdom forward, he really wants to discourage me and tell me I'm not worthy, I am not enough. But you know, I just thank God for his grace and his mercy and his strength that is within me. Thank you Holy Spirit for sending Ashley the series for this month in order for me to study even more on Ephesians 3 and 20 and to dive a little deeper into it by doing the printable. Um, because you have really shown me to, for me to get stronger, for me to have that power, I just have to just let you into my heart and truly trust you. And, and that's what I'm doing right now because I usually write what I want to say out and then come to you guys and say it, but the enemy wasn't even letting me do that. I could not even get my mind clear to write out what I wanted to say. And so I just turned the camera on and started recording. Today is the day I actually want to put the video out. I promise you guys, I always edit and record probably like five days before I put the video out just because it helps me not get so overwhelmed. But literally, I am doing this a couple hours before I want to release the video. So I'm really trusting in you, Lord, because I know this is what you want out. And so I'm doing it. I'm doing what God told me to do despite what the enemy is telling me to do. Um, so thank you, Holy Spirit, for your strength. <laughs> Y'all, I got mascara in my eye. Like I was putting mascara on and I literally put the whole brush in my eye. Okay, I have definitely gone out on a tangent. Um, let me get back on track. Well, what is intentionally shaped? You are asking. So, Holy Spirit laid on my heart. At the end of 2020, around November, I was studying 1 Thessalonians. Um, he actually led me there. It was so random for me just to go to 1 Thessalonians, but he led me there. Um, and I remember he woke me up one morning with the word truth. I was like, I could just see it in bold, let bold letters, truth. So I was like, okay, what, what am I not being truthful about? And so, and then as I was reading First um, Thessalonians, I ran across this scripture that talked about um, being truthful. Let's see if I can find it. I don't have my Bible. Where's my phone? First Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 through 4. Where it says, for the appeal we make does not spring from error or impure motives, nor are we trying to trick you. On the contrary, we speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We are not trying to please people, but God who tr who tests our hearts. And I don't know, that scripture just hit different with me because it was like, that's what I want you to do. I want you to share your life. And it just, I don't know, it like flipped the switch to where it was kind of like, okay, girl. He wants you to use your life to influence others. Um, and then that's when I came across this hashtag Black Christian Influencer. Um, and uh, if y'all know me, y'all know I do not want to be an influencer. I, like, I, I do love makeup. I do love my hair. But I'm not trying to get on social media all the time and post all that stuff. Y'all know me. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I'm doing the podcast. Honestly, you know, God, it's all, it's all because of the power of God. Um, 
but he wants me to share my life with you all and others out there um just so you can see just a normal small town girl living her life like Christ lived his well trying to live my life as Christ lived his and just trying to satisfy him and just to show people out there that it's not as hard as you may think it is um everyone's not perfect which is another reason why he showed me truth um and just to live your life and be the best Christian that you can be so um I am an avid youtuber like I love watching YouTube I watch vlogs I watch cooking videos I watch cleaning videos I watch organizing videos hair videos makeup videos prank videos whatever is on YouTube your girl is watching it um and I just I just desire to reach someone like me who's just wa casually watching a vlog or casually watching a makeup video and submit their life to God through the word that I'm giving them that God has provided to me like that's my ultimate goal with this series is just to catch the average viewer out there while they're trying to look up a makeup look for Valentine's Day or something and they see me as a Christian living my regular life praising God through this lens and they say oh let me see what her podcast is about and they watch Ashley and I's podcast and then boom they want to give their life to Christ like man that's all I want to do I just want to move the kingdom forward I just want more people my age range especially to know that it's not hard it's not what these people make it be I know it's so much judgment in this Christian like environment and Christian world but trust me you don't have to fall into all of that all that's important is your relationship with Christ at the end of the day he will accept you he will accept the flaws that you have he will he he already accepts you girl he created you a guy but that's all I want to do I don't want people to continue to run away and you know I know when I was younger I would say oh, I'm too young for that I still need to live my life I still need to have fun that's that's not that's not it. it you can be a Christian and still have fun you can still live your live your life as a Christian you can still go out on dates as a Christian you can still go out to the club as a Christian you know it just gotta be that light <laughs> which we're gonna get more into doing intentionally Shay he just wants you to be the light in this dark dark world and he just wants to come into your heart and guide you through life and just have everything that he has for you and I just want people to know that I just want to show that you know our um, I was saying that my church is knowing him, showing him, and growing him. I probably said that out of order. But that's all I want to do. I want to continue to grow in Christ. I want to continue to know him personally. And then I just want to show the world that Christ is so good. Our God is so powerful. He is so much more than what these people pay him out to be. You know, these people who talk about the church, the church folk. He is so much more than that. Like, getting in a personal relationship with him and learning his word and just living your life out through his will he wants the best for you life is just so much easier with him and i do want to point out like he didn't promise not to send us trials and tribulations that's not what he promised but he promised to never leave you nor forsake you and that's one of my favorite promises you guys probably know that by now but i am getting all off on a tangent this video is about to be 30 minutes long and that's not what i'm trying to do Anyway, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is that Intentionally Shay is just me living my life intentionally, showing you guys what my life is, and it's actually what God laid on me on how he wanted me to disciple. Um, so I just hope I can I can just reach one person. If, I've, if I reach one person, then I know that I've done enough. So that's what Intentionally Shay is. The videos are not going to be long. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say. I remember it was Daily Dale. She talked about how the gifts that God prepared for you, he wants you to use those to further his kingdom. Um, and I am using my gift of um, editing for my ministry with the podcast. But God has given me so many other gifts. God has given me the gift of creativity. I've always been a creative person since I was a little girl. And I want to be able to use all those other um, creativities that he gave me to reach others and pull them into the kingdom as well. So, I mean, guys, if you have more than one gift, use all of your gifts to um, further drive the kingdom. I love all things creative. So, um, within Intentionally Shay, you'll get a lot of um, decor videos. 
um, DIYs. I do a lot of those. Um, I am very into organization. Um, Y'all should see how many planners I have. Or, um, what's this thing called? My clothing dresser. It's so organized because I'm type A. <laughs> so you'll get organization videos. Um, let's see what else. Also, makeup videos. Y'all know I like a good slay. So I'll be doing makeup videos for you guys. Um, I will try my best to do a hair video for you, but I am not the um, hair guru at all by far. Um, you know, it is it is by the grace of God my hair is the length that it is because I do not take care of it. But hair videos by your request, not my request, because I don't want to do it, y'all. I don't want y'all to take out my bad habits. <laughs> Travel, post-corona, of course. Um, cleaning videos, I am very into cleaning videos. They soothe me, so I want to soothe you guys. Um, decorating videos, you, you guys, if you didn't see our Christmas tree decoration, I love watching videos like that. I love decorating, I love home decor. Gosh, I cannot wait till I get my home. I just love it so much. Um, let's see what else I have here. Um, I have family time, I love my family. We, we are always trying to get together and do special things with, with each other, so you'll see my family time also day in life you know i may take you guys along as we film one day i may take you guys along as i go to church i may take you guys along um while i'm editing spending the day with me editing i also have a corporate job as well so i may take you guys along um on the journey of my career life i have a lot of things about me i didn't even notice that Ooh, i am a very complex person um <laughs> Also, I want to do like devotionals on here as well, like little short devotionals, not as long as the podcast for people who have like a little short, um, what's the word, who have ADD, want to help those people out there and they deserve Christ too, they deserve a little word from the Lord too. I'm sorry, y'all was thirsty. And then last but not least, um, cooking videos, because y'all know that's one of my New Year's resolutions or goals that's on my vision board is to cook more. So I'll take y'all along on a journey of me cooking more, on the journey of me spending time with friends. So just basically all things me, but intentionally. I like that slogan, all things me, but intentionally. So that's what Intentionally Shay is. I am so happy that I have you guys on this journey with me and I cannot wait to get into it. Um, if you guys do have any video requests that you want me to do, um, on intentionally Shay, please comment down below and let me know and I'll write those video ideas down what else oh and I'll try to post these videos every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and the keyword right there was try um, I do not want to overwhelm myself at all because first priority is obedience podcast so, um, if I do miss a Thursday, I know that y'all understand. So, if you guys are excited for this series and you are so happy that I'm doing it and being obedient, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And then, if you haven't, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And then, be sure to hit that bell notification. And then, lastly, do not forget to share with five friends, especially if you're so excited for this series. Go ahead and tell everybody what's going on over here and then don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias at obedience podcast and it should be on your screen right now and then lastly if you guys are in need of prayer in any area of your life go ahead and send your prayer request to obedience podcast at gmail.com but before i go i did want to read one scripture um that i looked up that i actually love and have been studying so it was Matthew 5 and 16 out of the English Standard Version translation it says in the same way let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your father who is in heaven so basically I'm just out here in this world letting my light shine and letting y'all see it and so hopefully that y'all want to give y'all life to Christ Showing you what he's done in my life, showing you how he, how he has made me change, how he has made me advance, encourages someone out there just to give their life to him as well. So basically that is my mission with Intentionally Shay, and I hope that you guys enjoy. But until next time, as always, be obedient, and I will see you guys next Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for the first episode of Intentionally Shay. See you guys then.